It's the Barry Kitchen. I'm Teddy, specifically your Cupid Teddy. I'm coming here with a treat yourself or treat someone you care about with a little treat, a little Valentine's cake. I try to keep this affordable, easy, and accessible as much as possible. And I'll show you through importance what you should be switching out and what you don't have to switch out. But anyways, Got the main points out the way. Make sure you head down below and check out my other videos. Follow, subscribe, and keep an eye out for my next giveaway because I would like to do those as much as possible. But anyways, like I said, treat yourself or treat someone you care about with this nice little Valentine's cake. Keep on watching. Let's get our aprons on and get to work. But you don't need these as cute as they are. Um, I just bake. I, you know, it to me it makes sense, but to you it may not. So you can go to the dollar twenty-five store and get like a square cake pan. It comes in two, so you can use it for the next recipe, which will be up here, or use it for this cake and basically just make a nice little eight point nine by eight point nine cake. So it's pretty much like a nine by nine pan. Um, just a little bit off, but you know, the point one ain't, it ain't gonna, ain't gonna go too crazy. But anyways, um, like I said, we're gonna, I'll show you how to prep this. Since you'll be keeping the cake in this pan, you really don't need to do too much because you're gonna just cover it with chocolate. But I'll kind of go through that as I go through this. I won't be using it because I don't really need to make another cake, but I will explain it. And if I need to make another video, if you guys would like that. I could do that so just let me know down in the comments but besides that um we'll be using these a cute bit titties and honestly let's get our aprons on and get to work okay so we're gonna start by preheating the oven to 350 super simple and for the silicone molds you're pretty much just gonna spray them with butter spray and you're gonna make sure you get the crevices and we're either just gonna leave these right here be all oiled up and waiting we're gonna bring out a trusty bowl and so for this recipe I'm gonna do it solely by hand because I usually use a mixer um, I want to show that you don't need a mixer really just a whisk because I don't want anyone to say that they can't make this for someone that they care about um, you don't need a silicone mold you don't need a fancy hand mixer you don't need any of that you just need some cake mix couple more ingredients to really make it taste you know not like cake mix we're going for next level top top dog institution level of red velvet you know what I'm saying it's awful cool. we're here to bake and like I said we're gonna use these <laughs> so we're gonna start by adding the wet ingredients into this bowl and then dry into that so wet base add into the dry and honestly let's come in close and get that going so I'm gonna start with the eggs just because um, if the shell you can pick it out and it's not like incorporated with anything else. Um, I'm gonna crack them four things open and get to a skin. Break up those bonds. Get it combined. Then add in the buttermilk mixture and I'm just gonna keep stirring as I add it. For everything I'm just gonna keep stirring. It looks way faster because it's sped up. My, my wrists don't flip that fast. But we're gonna add in all the wets like I previously stated. Add in some dye just because I want like a real nice red color. Add in that cocoa powder to really levitate. All these are, some of these are upgrades and some of these are vital. 
um, I feel like I emphasized everything earlier, but it, you know, um, down in the comments, in the description, it will be there. And I'm gonna just stir as I add. And honestly, I'm not really gonna hold the bowl. I'm just going to flick this wrist and add all this in there. And then, there we go, we got a good grip in the bowl. So, for the pan, I'm gonna emphasize, you can split this batter into two, the two pans just to make your life easier for the um, previous recipe. Since I'm already adding these into the molds, I'm gonna just use the leftover cakes and mold it into the um, next recipe. But for this current recipe, if you are making the square pan, you can split the batter or you put it all in one. Um, it really is just your preference and how much chocolate you wanna put on top because how much room you will have left in the pan all depends. And then we're gonna pop this in the oven for about 15 minutes for these little things. If you're gonna make an actual cake, it would be about 20 to 30. But it all depends on the actual pan that you decide to use. And these are super easy out the mold, flip out beautifully. And I'm just gonna let these cool before I get the chocolate on them. Look at that red, oh my god, love a good red velvet. Okay, so as you can see, we pretty much have went through one set of batter we're going to just scoop some more and keep doing the same and it's perfectly fine to let your batter sit for a little bit you can put it for the fr in the fridge if you're going to be you know away for a little bit it's okay y'all work at your pace work figure out your own pace do things your own method and it's okay to like how to say experiment to the best of your ability you know what I'm saying learn things that work for you Google is your friend there's been Baker since like the beginning of time bread is like one of the most oldest like food y'all you can get yeast from the Oregon Trail people which I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that like I keep saying it I just gotta get the envelopes once I get the envelopes we're going to bake with the, the prehistoric yeast. Let me stop. Let me not say prehistoric because they it's not it's not that bad. Let me not be that. <laughs> Let me not be that person. Um, but anyways, happy Valentine's Day. Hope you guys have a good Valentine's Day and enjoy yourself or loved one. You know, I've literally been saying that throughout the whole video because I think that's the whole importance it doesn't need to be all flashy like you can make cute little cakes one big old cake that might be a little goofy looking but who cares and if they care I don't know like use that as something to pay attention to you know is that something you want in your life time chocolate time we're gonna start with Ghirardelli and move to almond bar just for you know cost effectiveness but anyways you're gonna microwave between 15 to 25 seconds mixing in between besides that do not exceed 30 seconds we're gonna add in some oil based food coloring and just stir that in if you want more of a marble effect you can stop there if not keep on going if you want a deeper color just add more Look at that, I flick at the wrist. And we're gonna use a butter knife just to show that like, I can, you fill the letters, you can fill the whole portion with that. And if you were to do the nine by nine pan, you're pretty much gonna pour the chocolate all over. You can do a marbling effect or um, write something, whichever. Just, you know, use your imagination. If you want that in-depth tutorial, just let me know, like I previously stated. We're gonna add a, now use a silicone brush and see how it's a little bit, um, those over there, the butter knife, you can use a silicone brush. My preferred is going to be the, the later brush, and then you can use it while it's um, already wet, or add some just wet chocolate in and just pop the cake in, like some glue, pretty much. 
And then this is my favorite brush. It's more of a fabric brush. It adds like you see it's so much smoother. I use this for the rest of the chocolate. And you can cover the chocolate and or just leave it. And I'm gonna show you how smooth, even if you mess up the rims, it's gonna pop out, y'all. If you do the whole thing, it's gonna pop out. That's the whole pro of using silicone molds and um chocolate. It's it's just amazing, amazing experience. Look how cute they turned out. Now I'm just trying to rearrange them nice. And look, the lettering came out gorgeous. It's so cute and pink. So we finally made it to this point, y'all. Let's demold these last little cakes. I did like a cute little pink lettering. Y'all saw me struggle. I figured it out. It, I mean, I tend to watch more videos on ch like chocolate and working with like wafer and just stuff like this in general. Um, but these are demolding so nice. I took them straight out the fridge. Oh, how beautiful. Cute little conversations. So I just did the pink, yellow, and white ones. I could have done the blue. I was going to mix blue, but what, you know what I mean? Why well, add a whole other color into the equation? These are cute. And I already was working with a lot of pinks and purples for this other set anyways. So, here we go! We did it again, y'all! Look how cute! I hope whoever you make these for enjoys it, you enjoy it, I'm about to enjoy them and I'm going to share it with my loved ones and the people I care about so I'll be dedicating this video to y'all. If you're watching this and you know I fuck with you. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoy this. It was super easy, um, super fast. You know, when you're not recording and stuff, I promise you this recipe probably gonna go by speedy quick <laughs> and just be patient make sure you set everything in the fridge and follow some of these instructions to kind of like see because you can see even the little specks are, they're gonna show up but to me it's not a big deal so hopefully to y'all it's not a big deal these marbled ones turned out super lovely and this set turned out like I don't know it, it's giving I think it's serving and I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day and make sure you check out the giveaway if it's still going on and honestly check out the rest of my Valentine's videos super easy super quick head down here head there head somewhere make sure to subscribe like comment anything you would like to see what's the next holiday let's come up with some recipes um honestly and until next time Thank <laughs> you.